Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you today about some technology that I own. Now, you're all familiar with this kind of view. Just looking at the screen, you can tell, ah, yes, this is Oculus Rift footage. Yes, I know what this is. And this is all very so far so standard, isn't it? Now, the piece of technology I want to show you is, in fact, the Leap Motion. Perhaps rather than describe what this does, shall I show you? No joke, bro. No joke. My hands are in VR. Oh, yes. Can you remember a while ago I was talking about this hand, hand gun finger tracking project that I was wanting to do? Yeah, I found something that already does it. Or at least in recent months has uh, actually managed to do it. Albeit, it takes a lot of uh, algorithms, especially this particular demo, which I'll talk about in a second. But yeah, it can tell what my hand is, where it is in physical space, and it can cancel out the background so that I can see through the... Uh, oh, it doesn't like that, does it? There we go. It can see through. I can see through the gaps and stuff and see the background behind it. Now, it knows where my hand is. I can calculate where it is in 3D space, right? So that means I can put it behind these objects and it'll render a view of only a portion of my hand because it knows that it's going behind a virtual object. So that's one cool thing about this. What's even cooler is that it means I can interact with these virtual objects just by using my hand if I want to. Although using both hands at the same time does cause this particular demo to lag somewhat. But it works. I can take one, and I can take... Oh. The occlusion doesn't always work, but there you go. I can take two. Whee! And I can just poke, and slap, and even into the side, and boosh! Knock all of them at the same time. This is really cool, and it feels good. The reaction time on the finger's optical, there's very little latency. It does flicker in and out. So if I do this, yeah, I can't quite tell, can it? The profile it sees, because this is, this is optical, remember, optical. It's only seeing a portion of my hand, so it's only showing on one of the eyes now for some reason. Uh, it works best when it can see the hand flat on, and only for short periods of not being able to see it flat on. If you get too far away, it just disappears completely, because it stops being able to cancel it out from the background. Uh, if you see too much skin, it'll be like, oh god, that's a lot of flesh to calculate, and then they'll uh, do that. With two of them, it lags even more, and doing things like this makes it disappear, because you're interjoining your hands, and it can't tell what is hand, what isn't hand, so it just gets rid of them. But this, on the whole, despite all those problems, was created by a very clever person. His username's Zalo. I've been in email contact with him, talking about uh, just, just my experience with the demo a little, but... It really is something incredible, isn't it? We can see in virtual worlds. Oculus gives us this power to see in stereoscopic 3D with a wide field of view. We can look around and look at the virtual worlds and lean in and look up close. But Oculus is missing this. This. It's missing this. The ability to use hand signals to communicate with avatars like, go over there. Although, obviously, go over there rather than over there because you can't see my hand. You know, we can use hand signals and stuff, and we can talk with our friends using these, uh, these things we call hands. And then we can reach out and touch objects, and we can punch our friends in the face without actually punching them in the face. It's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. And you can see it actually does recognise a fist pretty well, which is nice. Ha! Back fist. Knife hand strike. Spear hand strike. Ridge hand strike, although I can't really do that very well. Ridge hand strike. A miniature ridge hand strike. You get the point, and I think that this video has achieved what I really need to achieve. This is one of the... This is one of a kind, this particular demo. Uh, there were no other demos like this that actually cancel out the background. But this is what I want... This is the one I like best, because it does. It gets rid of the rest of the room. I can't see my room around me. I can see only this virtual world created with its terrible textures and its awesome floaty cubes. And then my hands. 
albeit occasionally they, dis they disappear, but that doesn't actually break your immersion. That doesn't actually break your immersion. And in fact, having your hands and being able to interact with things adds a fantastic sense of presence. Also, being able to break the game like this is quite cool. If I put two of these objects inside the chipper, I can make them stick together and they have problems reacting from then on. And I can even add more to the mass, like this. <laughs> I like breaking things. There you go. I can probably dislodge one of them though. There we go, dislodged. It's just so cool. It's just incredible. I can reach out and I can touch and interact with a virtual world with barely any latency and with very clever background cancellation algorithms. <sighs> so good. What we need now are people to buy en masse Oculus Rifts and Leap Motions so that people will actually create content for this. This is how I want to experience all my media. Anyway, now that I've broken this, there's very little I can really do with these cubes. I mean, there wasn't much in the first place. But that doesn't stop me from playing in here for hours on end. <laughs> Just messing about with these things. Virtual reality is here, ladies and gentlemen. Virtual reality is here. And I think we are incredibly lucky to live in this generation. It has its flaws. But really... Next couple of years, man. The next couple of years... Who knows? Who knows? Thanks for watching. I hope this has been of interest to you. I will link the demo down below. And alongside the Oculus and the Leap Motion. And I will see you all next time. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so good.